Hey guys, Eric Kyle here, publisher of Great Lakes Scuttlebutt Magazine. I'm excited to be at the Chicago Strictly Sales Show. You guys, this is a phenomenal event. I can't believe how beautiful the boats are. Fantastic people out here, wonderful exhibitors, great time for sure. As a matter of fact, I'm fortunate enough to be standing here with the one and only Bob Bitchin. Bob, how are you, sir? Bitchin. <laughs> it is so good to see you, my hey, man. Hey. Bob has a great new magazine. He's going to tell you guys a little bit more about it. It's called Cruising Outpost. And you guys, if you don't subscribe to it, make sure you do. Bob, tell us about Cruising Outpost. Well, what happened is we had Latitudes and Attitudes for 17 years. We kind of lost that. We won't go into that here. Okay. But um, it died, and so did the television show with it. We decided that we wanted to do something more for the readers that had less advertising, more stories, and so we created Cruising Outpost. Okay. Cruising Outpost is actually the opposite of all other boating magazines in the United States. States. All other magazines run 70% advertising, 30% stories. We run 30% advertising, 70% stories. So an average issue for us is 180 to 196 pages. We use a lot more humor in our uh, in our magazine because remember oh, sailing used to be fun when we first got into it. Yeah. Well, we try to keep it that way. So our new magazine, we've got more cartoons, we've got more comedy, we've got good stories from people who are out there cruising that have interesting things happen to them. So we have people from all over the world who are sending in stories on a regular basis to cruising outpost. Okay. It's a quarterly magazine. It's like $25 a year, so it's very inexpensive. Right. And then we have a matching website with it at cruisingoutpost.com. And there we have daily stories being sent in from people all over the world who are cruising everywhere. And if you're really interested in cruising, this is something to go to and check out. That's all free, of course. Sure. So that's basically what we're doing. It's, it's a whole new concept in publishing because it's not advertising-based. Yeah. It's reader-based. Yeah. It's for now the content, that's absolutely the key. We've been finding that out with Great Lakes Scuttlebutt as well. People want something to kind of sink their teeth into. Right. They kind of keep the book around a lot longer. Some of the things that I loved about some of your previous magazines that I'm seeing as well in Cruising Outpost, some of the great imagery that you guys use. Yeah. I mean, the pictures you guys are just, it just takes you right there. And as a sailor myself, I have a, a love for what it is you guys do. And it's, it seems like almost a cult following. These guys love the work you guys put together. Well, it is, it is, it is a cult following because what we did, going back a long time, going back 35 years, when I was with Easy Rider Magazine when it started, and we were the first ones to do this photo section in the center. Easy Rider was called In the Wind. In Latitudes and Attitudes, it was called Underway. In our new magazine, it's called Lifestyle. But what it is is photos that are sent to us from cruisers all over the world of just people enjoying having fun doing what they want to do. So enjoying the lifestyle. And that's why we got into boating. Most magazines, they're just too serious. Sailing isn't serious, it's fun. I mean, it can get serious, sure. and when that's all over, sure. it's fun looking at looking back at what could have happened. Right. I mean, sit in a bar and look at the tales being told at a waterfront bar. Man, I remember this time when I got knocked down. That's the best story in the world. You never hear anybody saying, I had a perfect crossing to Mac Island. <laughs> so, you know, right, what's right, what's right, do? Right, 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 right. So the whole lifestyle thing that you guys have been able to integrate so very well in Cruising Outpost is available not only on the newsstands, but you can also get it uh, online yeah. as well. So tell us a little bit about the website. What kind of interaction are you doing there? How can we well, go to the it? The website is, is basically, um, it's, it's a home for the magazine, and we do an online issue of the magazine, which okay. is also available by subscription. Okay. But the website is free, and on there you'll find 24-7 music, uh, sea shanties and stuff from people and on waterfront dives, commercial free, 24-7. You just click on the link and the, and the music starts playing. People like Eric Stone, um, all, all the, the, the waterfront singers. Um, we've got a, um, a board there, a forum board, where if you have a question about what's going on, you just go to the forum and you say, I want to buy this uh, new Cathartical 35, what does anybody think? We can come back and tell you, don't buy it or buy it. Right. We also have an Ask the Experts area, which is where a bunch of real experts, um, Lynn and Larry Pardee, uh, Tanya Abbey, uh, Woody Henderson, uh, John Kretschmer, 
all these people that have hundreds of thousands of miles behind them, you have a question, you post it, they come in and they answer it. It's called Ask the Experts. So we try to do something to make it easier for you to enjoy your book. You know, it sounds like, Bob, the years of publishing experience that you've had, you've taken your knowledge from all these other previous magazines and culminated them into this this cruising outpost with all your best ideas. I don't know, I just got old and it happened. <laughs> you guys, you gotta make sure you check out Bob Mitchin down here at the Strictly Sales Show. If for some reason we can't make it here, Bob, where do we go online? What's that website? Cruisingoutpost.com. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. So glad to see you back in the business. You guys, Bob Mitchin, cruisingoutpost.com. Check it out, we'll see you out on the water.